Hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to transfer your Pro Tools sessions to the next user, disregarding if they are Pro Tools or whatever users. So first thing that uh, we will do is that I'll open a session that I received just uh, a few days ago. So it was created in Pro Tools HD as you saw. And this is not, this is a bad example how you should send your session. Everything is uh, basically multi-track and uh, I have no idea what things are. I mean you have this uh, comment space here, but uh, after I listened. Uh, this is like a guide track. These are guitars and these are drums. And um, basically, this is not how I wanted to my session to look when I received it. So I made my own version of it. And this also has some mixes, uh, mixing in it. So dis disregard that. Okay, and this is how my new session looks like. I have cleaned out all the ex excess parts on the toms and I have used pretty colors on everything and uh, I have used the uh, comment box so that I know what, what is what. I have panned things like they should be or how I think they should be. And uh, the thing to do now is because, for example, uh, the drums are grouped and they have like alternative playlists uh, like so. What I'll do now is that uh, before you do anything of this do file save as. Uh, first what we'll do is uh, delete unused on the playlists and here are what we'll select. So delete unused playlists and there delete and now there are no extra playlists. So now I can open the region playlists, select unused and then clear. And here is important thing, do not press delete because uh, in case something goes wrong, you won't have those files. So only click remove and then go to file, save, copy in. So this session will be a lot smaller than the one that is on your hard drive. So check all audio files and I usually check all these to and don't press the preserve for the hierarchy and then choose the same file type as you used for the session and session format use the latest and then press, press OK and then let's save these save now it's calculating the uh, I will uh, fast forward this part of the video while the session is bouncing I advise you to go to grammy.org slash recording academy then producers and engineers wing and uh, guidelines and recommendations and download this PDF and uh, actually you should read all these PDFs because they are really good read in case you are ever going to work with uh, audio professionals. Anyway, let's continue on the process. So basically now it has made a new fresh copy of the session and let's see what is the size it's this one and the size of that session is 1.82 gigabytes and size of this one is 2. Point, so we basically saved like one quarter of the size of the session so if you are doing like online storage thing like Dropbox or minus or whatever uh, that saves you a lot of bandwidth. Also, if you are 
doing the backups on DVDs or something, you can fit more stuff into the session that way. So what about if the user is not using Pro Tools? So what you should do then is that you press Command A, which is select all, and then you go to Edit, Consolidate Vision. What consolidation does is that it makes them into whole files that begin from zero and end at the point where the song stops. So you can just transfer those files to the to the guy who is doing, doing the session and looks like we are done. So now we have one continuous file. When you go to the audio folder, you can find those files that you just created here. Audio files. So I created... So these are the files that I just created. So basically you can just then take these, whatever they are in size, and zip them and you have the whole session in audio files. If the session has MIDI, uh, go to File, Export, MIDI. And uh, of course you have to have some MIDI in the session, this one doesn't have, but let's make Okay, now we have a splendid MIDI track there. So let's do stuff like that. Now it has MIDI. So select all from beginning to the end, wherever it is, file, export, MIDI. And then use the multi-track format and then press OK. And then just select where you want to export the MIDI and include that in the folder with the other files. And then you should be done. Okay, that was the tutorial for this time. I hope you found it interesting. So, thank you for watching and make good music! So, what I forgot to mention in the video was that uh, you should also include a rough mix for the mixing engineer in case they don't have all the same plugins you have. So what, uh, what you should do is that you bounce the file and then you include it in the session that you send to the mixing engineer or whoever is going to be the next receive hint.